Welcome back viewers. As you can see, there have been some changes on Skyblock this time. Well, I've uh, I've learned the hard way that there needs to be some sort of barricade from me to the outside world. Well, from that sandblock area. Because monsters were spawning here and they were beating, beating my ass quite badly. So I was thinking... Maybe I could just put like a little door here and then we'll just expand it over to um, build like a bigger, ooh, another tree, a bigger roof. Um, as you can see here, I have a, a grass block in the middle because I want to preserve that grass. I realized at the last second that um, trees actually uh, destroy the grass block under them once they've grown. So I quickly took out the saplings on either side and then uh, had the grass transfer over before I planted it again. So I preserved this grass block here. Because um, I looked around and there was no other way of um, getting seeds. So that's kind of a bad, uh, bad start, I guess. But I haven't done the intro yet. So welcome to Sky... Uh, uh, welcome to Minecraft Skyblock with me, with Klaus, me. My god, that was a really bad intro, but never mind. I'm having a bad day. I'm just going to leave it in there. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I was thinking, like, uh, expand this top bit, like, use this little room as, like, a storage area. And then just up on top. And then just, uh, up on top and then have, like, a little farm on this side tree farm here, cobblestone generator here, um, uh, yeah, sugar and, a sugar cane and reed farm, and apparently a giant red mushroom, I'm not sure how, how you get a giant red mushroom, uh, but we'll learn that on the way, anyway, we're probably gonna, uh, oh, the other thing I was looking at was, um, I'm not sure if this is true, but if you mine from a cobblestone generator with a stone pickaxe, does it come back faster? I wanted to check it out because um, obviously I was actually seeing something, but uh, obviously I'm going to put it on screen for you guys to double check um, if I'm doing this right or not, because I feel it is uh, slightly faster, so I'm gonna time it for about 10 seconds not too much and see how how, how long we get so it's uh, one second okay go from now one two three four that was just over the 10 second mark remember here we're not counting the ones we get it's um, counting the number of respawns per 10 seconds because uh, four respawn there I luckily I collected all four but that doesn't really matter because we're just collecting uh, we're counting the respawns okay let's go in again now one two three four five six and that is just under the 10 second mark the wooden pickaxe one was just over 10 seconds so that was 4 per 10 seconds but that was 6 per 10 seconds maybe it's just a sheer coincidence but uh, I think I'm onto something here maybe or I'm just completely deluded and I'm too uh, <laughs> it's been too long since I've had another human's contact as you can see I'm a very very lonely person <laughs> anyway um, I was hoping to get some uh, as you can see, monsters spawned, and uh, I got some gunpowder, rotten flesh, and a bone, some uh, string. The string will go into a collection to make wool. I looked around, and the only way to get wool isn't by spawning sheep. It's by collecting string and putting them together. Hmm. And uh, the dyes come from, like, uh, you put bone meal down on grass blocks, and uh, flowers and stuff grow. So you collect dyes from that. I was like, wow, I never knew this before. And the other thing was, uh, the, like, the darker inks, like the light grey inks or 
I'm not sure if there's a blank ink in here or somewhere, but um, that, that's from like the squid ink, and that's from the little lake you make. I was like, wow, I'm learning so much. It's from Skyblock. Well, I'm I never actually knew any of that. I mean, <laughs> I've never really tampered with dyes before. So, uh, I mean, the only thing was I made like a little Victorian style house and dyed the wool like funky colours. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the only time I did with dyes, but uh, I never really made enough, so I kind of cheated in the effect. But, um, yeah, today we're going to uh, see if we can expand on this a little. I mean, it's not actually. Before we head out, I'm just going to throw some more logs into the furnace. Uh, 11 should do. Because, um... I want to get some more charcoal. So, last time we said it was 3 for every 2. So, put more, a couple more, 15. And then just 10 of these. That should be the right number. But, um, I'm gonna chuck stuff in a chest so I don't lose it. I mean, we we all remember what happened last time when we all just kind of whee, over the edge. <laughs> anyway, I've got my trusty sword, my two pickaxes, and my normal axe for some strange reason. Uh, so we're just gonna go build a bit more of this um, quote unquote platform. See, the sapling dropped. Ah, one dropped. Uh, and see if we actually need the water bucket. I'm great at this. <laughs> you can tell I've obviously done this before. He goes, walked up. Ooh, I've just forgotten something. <laughs> oh, the other thing was, I tested this out. I was thinking of putting uh, wooden fences on the side like this, but then I thought, can we actually fall through? We can't fall through these gaps, but look, if you throw an item, it falls through. So even if we did have something to stop the monsters from falling off, the items might fall off. So, and that's kind of more important. So then I realized, you know what, I'm just going to make torches and then have like a fence going along the side, like made of cobblestone, so they don't spawn on the actual fence or something like that. Oh my god, man. I've forgotten the water. I'm great at this. Ugh. And um, the other problem was I have to apologize for keep. Uh, I kept bringing up the time thing, like oh, it's getting up to the fifteen minute mark. The fifteen minute mark isn't important anymore. I was uh playing around with YouTube and there was um a whole verification system. You can post uh longer videos now if you put your phone number on and stuff like that. So um yeah, I signed up for that and then I I can put on longer videos now. It's, uh, it's all good. So, put block on top of there. And then we'll go down, we'll make a little platform for under there. We're on the same level, and that looks to be up three deep. So, uh, yep. One, two, three, four, five, just to be sure. And then we're going to build one on top. Like so. What? Oh, so close. And then we start building up. You know what? That's a really bad way to do it. Uh, let's uh, go this way. There we go. Okay, uh, let's collect this water. No! Oh! I I'm not sure how far I dropped, but that was uh, freakishly scary like had a heart attack Ugh. man this is getting annoying Ugh. okay the water's gone now no oh so close so close okay I'm gonna build like a smallish platform for now I'm gonna go back and get the torch so I can light this place up uh, like the 4th of July, as some would say, but I'm not American, so I, I wouldn't say that personally. I was actually, uh, bef um, like, editing uh, editing this for a while, and then I re-listened over to my own voice, and I was like, 
My God, I actually do sound, I don't sound English as such. I don't sound Chinese either. And I was like, I've, in the process of recording, I've lost my ethnicity. Oh no. I, I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm going to remain true to my heart as a Chinese person. So we're going to go back, get some torches, throw this water bucket in, and then um, hope no monsters. Oh dear. So no setting. No. Quick, go back and get the torches. Throw a bucket in here, grab some sticks, grab some planks. Make some more sticks. And then, wow, that was right. <laughs> that's a that's a shocker right there. Okay, I've got forty four torches. That should do me for now. I've got my trusty sword, so if anybody comes at me, I'm gonna stab them. That sounds really threatening. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna randomly place them for now, cause um. Obviously, I I don't have like a system set up yet, and uh, I just want to build this little port, um, this area. So uh, let's see. We're quite low compared to that one, but we're gonna still build it across. Um, let's go this way. Hmm. Wow, the moon looks up. This is on default textures, but the moon does look uh, it looks alright. Doesn't look great, but it looks okay. I was um thinking, I've seen a lot of uh, loads of mob designers, and I looked over uh, Captain Sparkle's recent video, and he was um he made one using lava, but because he didn't have another lava source block, he uh, had to <laughs> ferry it back with some forward from the cobblestone generator and stuff like that. Uh, just to try and get the mob spawner to work. It was quite funny. Um, let's see. Keep going for now. But I'm not sure if we're going to get enough cobblestone. But uh, I also learned, I was thinking, how do we make a nether portal if we don't have a diamond pickaxe or enough lava? Apparently, there is obsidian in that chest floating above us. Yeah, so, wow, I mean, you, I learn something new every day. And um, apparently we have to get into never using like a special igniting uh, method. It looks very, very complicated and uh, I, I'm not one for technicalities, honestly. It's just, oh, it's done this way? Okay, I'll do it this way, I guess. Huh, no monsters this way. That's really weird. I saw some monsters over there by the cactus, but uh, I was thinking, you can't ferry the lava around, and uh, it's quite impractical to build like a little floating mob spawner up there and have mobs fall down and stuff like that. So I was thinking, why not use cactus? It's a, it's a great way to utilize the cactus. You will have extra of once you make a cactus farm. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, let's see what was I doing. Oh yeah, bucket of water. Anyway, it's uh, let's see, put it in here. Make uh, grab some more cobble. But um, I'm gonna keep these uh, episodes still a bit short and sweet because um, I ha haven't really got any uh, like subscribers or people like waiting for an episode to come out. So. Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing what I enjoy, just playing a bit of Minecraft, you know, learning new things like I learned today, and um, just go with the flow. Uh, and, and people enjoy enjoy me commentating or enjoy watching me fail and like completely uh, make an ass of myself. Then uh, I'm gonna do more specialized videos like um, how to or tips or. Um, I don't know, but uh, I've got like a couple of new ideas already. I'm um, I'm in the process of asking permission because uh, a couple of um, the people I subscribe to, that I'm a massive fan of people like that, um, like 
Two Girls, One Minecraft, uh, uh, Captain Sparkles, Efo, um, Efo's Lab, I'm sorry. It's uh, stuff like that. They do specialised stuff, and uh, I'm thinking of uh, moving into that once I've done this Skyblock series, but I may be here for quite a while. <laughs> I mean, it, the Skyblock is so fun, I can make houses out of like cobblestone and stuff like that, so I might like have a whole floating palace, and um, maybe one day we get um, uh, something that's completely uh, new. Anyway, it's... Um, Getting past uh, time, I should be showing up for now. Uh, tune in, uh, tune in next time. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. I'm new, still new to this. I have no idea what to say, but um, just tell me what you think, cause uh, you know, it's all it's all a uh, people's thing, really, isn't it? Uh, so see you next time. Tune in, uh, tune in next time, and maybe we'll have some sand ready. Uh, I mean, Glass Panes is on the list, so we gotta get ready for that. Tune in next time, guys. Bye for now.